WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and uh, we're just really awaiting the uh, Fed announcement uh, here. Uh, we've got a mixed board as we take a look at the uh, got the Dow, the S&P, and the NASDAQ trading to the upside by 81, 9, and 18 points, whereas you've got the... Uh, uh, Russell and the semis trading a bit lower out there. Fed ongoing increase will be appropriate. They've raised the funds by a half a percent out there. So now we're just really taking a look at the uh, market action out here. Now, it's not necessarily going to be what takes place here, you know, in the next 10 seconds or so. And we do have Powell who will come out and do a q and A. I imagine that Q&A is, uh, is a Zoom Q&A. Uh, but perhaps not. Maybe they're uh, back together face to face out here. So uh, what we're going to do is do what? Let's... Uh, so the initial response so far has been to the upside a bit. The uh, Dow up about 230 points right now. We'll switch over and take a look at what do I, I guess what I want to do is is give you the upside targets out here. And to do that, we're just in a, when I say the upside targets, I'm referring to the equity future contracts out here. So these are the real resistance zones to be watching. And those are going to be the oscillator and change line. So you're looking at the daily time frame. For the ES mini, you're looking at 42.34 basically. We call it 42.48. If price is able to overcome 42.48, that's going to tell you about a further rally. That further rally would be 43.22. Likewise, if you close below 40.94.25, that's the February 24 fourth low out there that tells us we're headed lower the nq it's basically trading right up into resistance which is the red oscillator and change line the red oscillator and change line is 13243 give or take a buck or two so watch that level if the nq is able to close above that then that says okay the counter trend move should then take us up to 13699 if price is unable to take that out then we're really trading between resistance the oscillator and change line and support which we the bottom of its profile which was tested earlier this morning at the 12 951 level for the dow equity future contract its resistance area to the upside is 33506 to the downside it's 32086 close above one or below the other. That'll tell you about the uh, further direction of the market. Russell 2000 has already tested its oscillator and change line out there, but we want to see what the ES and the NQ do out here. So, folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care now.